Two Mississippi National Guardsmen died in a helicopter crash on Friday. Derek Abbott was one of the fallen servicemen. A candlelight vigil was held in his honor tonight. Our Sammy Roebuck was there at the vigil and she joins us now live in the studio to tell us more about the event and what it meant to the community. Sammy. This event meant everyone to those who loved Derek Abbott. Dozens of people came out to share their support and to mourn. If I was on the side of the road with a flat tire, you know, call Derek. If you're across the country and stranded without a car key now because your car key got stole, call Derek. Hugs, candles, and sweet sentiments surrounded Wednesday night's vigil. It was all for Chief Warrant Officer for Derek Abbott. We always knew that he was our hero, but I guess we didn't realize just how many people absolutely loved him and considered him family. Caitlin Chilcote is a family friend. The Abbots welcomed her into their home when she was just a teenager. She spent every holiday with them since. Being at the house and how many people stopped by and, you know, called and the visitors, it's just been overwhelming just seeing how many lives he truly did touch. The evening was filled with people whose lives were touched by Abbott. Harris Bryan, or Bubba as his friends call him, served with Abbott in Iraq. And I knew I could count on him just like he could count on me uh, working together, whether it was, you know, deployed in combat or at work, you know, doing our day-to-day -day activities. I mean, it was all fun, but when it came down to business, I mean, he was he was a professional. Uh, he, was, he was a great pilot, a great mentor, a great teacher. Um, he was that guy that you could call any time of the day or night. He was going to be there, and he didn't ask any questions. And uh, it wasn't just me he was like that with. He was like that for all of us. Abbott lived in Fulton with his wife and three kids. Mayor Emily Quinn is friends with his wife, Brandy. She told me. Everybody loved him. I've never heard one person say anything negative about him. And, you know, if I had to sum him up into three or four words, you know, it would, he loved his, his God. He loved his wife. He loved his kids. He um, loved his community, and he definitely loved his nation. So you might have noticed this candle behind me. I noticed this while I was just taping for this story and I thought I should get a shot of this candle. And then someone came up to me and they said, wow, that this is the candle that Brandy, his wife, lit tonight. And you just can't help but notice the two flames right here. And this one had fallen through the candle onto the ground. Multiple people said that it just happens to symbolize him being there with her tonight. Of course, a meaningful evening for everyone who loves him. Live in the studio, Sammy Roebuck, WTVA 9 News.